Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, hump day! And new release day, 21-22 Panini Chronicles Basketball. Half case from a fresh case, this is a pick your team one, and a free box giveaway. So it looks like if you bought at least, you've seen this promo before on our site, if you buy at least two teams, you get an entry. Four teams, two entries. Six teams, three entries, so on and so forth. Um, we'll gather up all those entries. Randomize those names. Top name will win a sealed box of Chronicles, probably out of a different a different case. And doesn't say here, but all cards do ship. You can quote me on that. All right. So here on Wednesday the 21st, brand new release. Pick your team one. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. If you have two rooftops next to your name, that means you won a spot and then won a top spot. So there you go. Rick. Serrano, Richard Serrano gets the Heat and the Suns, Hot Suns. Double last bought Mojo and everyone else who bought their team straight up. Thank you. No matter how you got in, I don't care. I appreciate it. Appreciate it just the same. All right, now let's grab this fresh case right here, the Chronic, Chronic Hoops. And let's pop this open and let's see which half we're going to do. Just saw a funny video of, uh, was this on the last, was this last weekend? Saw a funny video of golfer Bryson DeChambeau battling one of the rope lines at, at a tournament, at one of those lift tournaments. And someone kind of lifted up the rope. Oh, Gila was asking why was he so angry? Well, I think he thought someone was lifting the rope above his head or over his height, but that rope got caught right here. He was wearing a hat, it got caught right here. Maybe, maybe, maybe he thought that someone had dropped the rope in front of him a little early. All right, so six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side, and we'll just roll the die one, two, three for the left side, and four, five, six for the right side. Three, one, two, three, left side. So this side we will save for break two. And we'll write two, it kind of looks like a Z, but we'll write two right on the those QR codes there. So we all know they're from the same case. With a bit of luck, I feel like we can run another one back tonight. There's a there's another filler on the site for the second half. All right, here we go. Two autographs per box on average. Traditionally, Chronicles has had a lot of fun, fun little things in here. You can see all the different designs, a little sampler platter, and uh, some short prints as well. <laughs> yeah, you would think, right, Eddie? Or just have be able to hire more staff to handle that rope instead of decapitating one of their golfers. With a rope, that is. All right. Let's go. We got Davion Mitchell rookie cards. We got LeBron James. Yeah, a lot of different stuff, so all cards will ship. I guess the commons are technically these kind of cards. There's a Scotty Barnes. And a Josh Giddy. 19 out of 49. It, it was the Live Tour. The, Bryson's on the Live Tour. I think PGA is doing the, uh, the President's Cup this week. Josh Giddy for OKC. Darren, Porterhouse Steak. Scotty Barnes going to Nicholas and the Raptors. That's correct. Yeah, the XR basketball does not exist on its own. 
nor does plates and patches. That's only a football product. Here's LeBron James and plates and patches. So to 149, both going to Ryan and the Lakers. There you go, Mookie Betts with a solo shot, nice. I think most of these, I wanna say most of these cards don't have their own thing, their own set. There's Herbert Jones to 99. And a Cade Cunningham, gold standard basketball. We got gold standard football on the site. Maybe gold standard basketball will get a future release. A little ding in that left-hand corner, bottom left, you saw that? It's a little unfortunate, but just keep that in mind. Rick with Detroit. It's Trey Murphy the third to 149. LeBron James Crusade card from Rookies and Stars. And our, our shipping team will top load all these before these get sorted and sent out. And for the Raptors, uh, Justin Champagne, 71 out of 75. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Or Champagne is a possibility. If you want to put that flavor on it. Nicholas with the Raptors, with our first auto. Yeah, I suppose. Do I have to get PGA 2K 2K23? Gelo, is that what, is that what I have to do now? But I already have the original one. <laughs> I don't do a lot of uh, I don't do a lot of gaming. Does my does my previous avatar? Can that transfer to the latest edition or do I have to create do a whole new campaign or is the whole point of it to do a whole new campaign? It's Quentin Grimes to 75. Ted Lasso's teams in FIFA 23. I would like to see some Phoenix basketball. Did they used to have Phoenix or was it status basketball? There's another Davion Mitchell. All those Davions going to uh, Kayshawn and the Kings. And here's the worm, Dennis Rodman. In his Bulls gear, that'll be for Tony. And a Cade Cunningham rookie card in that XR design. That looks pretty sharp. You think it transfers, okay. Then maybe I'll have to get it. I feel like I only just started <laughs> getting good at that game. Are they gonna change the, uh, are they gonna change all the controls and stuff? No, they wouldn't do that, right? It has to be the same. Can't spend all this time learning, learning how to actually. I think it might actually be harder to hit a, hit a golf ball in, in PGA 2K than it is in real life. I mean, I guess unless, if you crank up the difficulty mode, or the, if you crank it down, then obviously it's easy, but on the higher, on the, uh, on the harder difficulty levels, And then I watch videos of these guys who are playing PGA 2K and they're really good. And it's like, how do you, how do you do that? All right, we got some Jalen Greens here. Got some Davion Mitchells. I think this break, I forgot how many random cards there are here. I want to say in previous years, these Prism cards 
have been have acted as kind of update cards. Thanks, Chilo. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I am not a gamer at all. I'm just as good as as any of your parents trying to understand video games. Did not play. I bought a PS4 during the uh, pandemic, and that's the only game system that I think I've owned. Oh, outside of a Nintendo Switch. That's probably the so that's that's probably the first game system I've I've purchased in my life. Spencer Dinwiddie for Dallas. That's going to be for Nico Martin. So Eddie's saying the Prism cards are updates this year as well. Eight out of ten on those. All right. There's Giannis to one forty nine. There's Evan Mobley to a 149. Nice. Direct's not a gamer at all. And then when you get older, you just can't figure any of it. I mean, I can figure it out. That's not the, that, that is not the issue. I, I just don't have the time or the interest for it. There's David Duke Jr. 82 out of 99. Brooklyn, that'll be for Wayne. The X line, what's going on? It's Trey Young to 149. There's Chris Duarte, 249. Josh Cousin to 149. Ah, Diego likes the Switch because uh, it lets you play those old Nintendo games on it from when you were a kid. Yeah, that is, uh, I haven't used that feature as much, but there are some old classics that are hiding on there. Yeah, the X-Line saying he gets down uh, with some Dr. Mario. His daughter is. That, that's like the, is that like Tetris but for, but with Mario? Punch-Out, wow, that's a good game to dig up. And like you can save games too, right, in the old ones? Which I, I don't think what you could do back in the day, and there's no saving if if the uh, if someone accidentally bumped your uh, when actually bumped your uh, your console and the game froze, that's it, the game over, done. And Austin Reeves autograph, nice, the savior of Lakers basketball. Seventy-three out of ninety-nine for that Austin Reeves, Ryan with my Lakers. There's Lamelo to seventy-five. El Canon saying your niece overwrote a Zelda save game on the Switch, and you're so bummed. Yes, start over. Which Zelda? Original Zelda? Breath of the Wild Zelda? Other Zeldas? There's Trey Man. I think, isn't there like a Lego Zelda game that's pretty good? Trey Man to 49. Jose Alvarado to 75. 
kind of like the uh, little diamond. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's not good. That's a beautiful looking game. I actually have have that game. I. Uh, but yeah, those those are one of the games um, that Gila was talking about. Those like forty hour games. I've I've not I've not come close to finishing it. This Franz Wagner to ninety nine, and then Evan Mobley. Avion Mitchell, Trey Murphy to 99. All card chip, obviously, so a lot of fun stuff here. There's Evan Mobley for the Cavs. Rex's kids play Fortnite, Minecraft, and Roblox. Yeah, Roblox. That, and, I mean, and the guys that create content for those for those uh, games on on the interwebs on YouTube, man, they are. Some of them have a ton of followers, a ton of clout. There's Moses Moody to one forty nine. There's Brandon Clark. 40 out of 99 for the Grizzlies. Apprentice autograph from Crusade. That'll be for Brian and Memphis. Yeah, I, I, I want to say, Josh, I would love to see Goldeneye back in circulate or like, like re-released somewhere. There's Kessler Edwards to 149. Jalen Green, nice Evan Mobley orange wave. 45 out of 75. But I want to say I read an article that um, I read an article that I said I think it's like licensing issues. There are some licensing issues that um, that prevent it for whatever reason from being remastered and, and re-released. Because I think, I think it really does. But I think someone did like a project where they did remaster GoldenEye, but it was only for PS three or PS two or something like that. But yeah, if you've played other first person shooters, I think El Cano is right. That's why I'm saying it needs like a remastering. If um if you've been playing like other first person shooters in like any one of those in, like the last five years seven years even and then you go back and you, you, you look at like 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 watch go go watch a golden eye walkthrough video josh yeah josh was like i haven't played since i was fresh out of high school yeah go look at a video on youtube of someone like playing original golden eye and you'll be like e <laughs> especially if you especially if you've played or have seen someone play like Call of Duty or or any of those sort sort of games. Another Brandon Clark. Fifty three at seventy five. What was the other one number two? The other one was number two ninety nine. So this is out of seventy five. So a slightly different parallel here. Josh Giddy, Phoenix edition for Darren and OKC. Thirteen out of forty-nine Cavs. Evan Mobley. It's a nice low number there for Cleveland. Rob with the Cavs. There's another just base playbook Evan Mobley right here. All Jason played on the N64. Jason Jasby just played Shadows of the Empire. I have, I have some vague memories of that game. 
All right, another Evan Mobley. Giannis, blank. Another Mobley. And a Mobley autograph. There it is. In that Phoenix design, 53 out of 99, Evan Mobley auto. It's going to go nicely with all the other, uh, other cards too. Rob with the Cavs. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice. Now that, that autograph supplemented by like cards like this, real nice, real nice break. Could be a big year for, for Cleveland. It's Franz Wagner to 149. Got some Jalen Green right here too. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. That's to 249. We got the uh, Prism, Jock Landale for the Spurs. That's going to go to Kayshawn. Quentin Grimes to 149. Have games or game consoles gone up in price these days? I feel like I feel like game prices have gone up because I think a lot more people are starting to grade and collect like game cartridges and stuff like that. If I'm not mistaken. Davion Mitchell to 149. Wow. Gilo saying NCAA football twenty fourteen was three or four hundred bucks at one point? Why? Is Davion Mitchell to seventy five. Supply, demand, the usual things. A lot of Davion Mitchells here. And a couple Cade Cunninghams right here too. Detroit, Rick T. Uh, 2014 was the last issue of NCAA football, oh, okay. Yeah, that I knew. Those old Pokemon games can be can go for a boatload. Yeah, Jason has some just like has ground level information. He's like, hey, used to pass by a video game store empty before twenty twenty, now they're open and busy. Man, Jason, they got that Game Boy Color. I think I have, I might have a Game Boy Color sitting around somewhere. Fire up some Pokemon on that, on that little thing. And what a revolution Game Boy Color was. What? In color? Yeah, manufacturers are, have they started to repro reproduce some older ones, right? I think they released like, basically like, it would be like a, a, super, a super Nintendo and like a small little version and they'll load it up with like 200 games or something like that. Which I think is a great, here's another Evan Mobley. I think it's a great idea. Kate Cunningham.
Man, there was a whole cottage industry for the for the Game Boy, right? With like all the attachments and accessories. They did it with Sega too. For good, that's thirty four out of ninety nine. Yeah, why wouldn't they be allowed to call it a, a Game Boy, Rex? Should it be a game man now that we're older? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what the Nintendo Switch is. And we got old uh, Calvin Murphy. I almost said Calvin Harris. That's someone else. Cameron Johnson. Oh, you want, ah, I see, you're trying to make it a gender thing. Well, I think Game Boy identifies as a boy, so that's fine. As long as we respect that, <laughs> then it's okay, so we can call it that. Richard Serrano with the Suns. And that's an out of 75 John Moran. It's a cool looking card. Giannis to 99. Those two guys right there, too. All right. Last box. Good luck. Wow, Lord Storm is saying new Segas with over 200 games can sell for up to $300. Dang. Hey, no worries, Rick. Thanks for getting into, uh, thanks for getting the last spot mojo. Strikes again with that Cam Johnson. Rugilo's got an interesting basketball fact. All right, hit us with that b-ball fact. Amazing about old video game music is they're just small snippets of music, but you can A get stuck in your head, but B they're they're made so they're not as annoying as you you would think they could be. If you think about it. Sixty two out of seventy five, Davion Mitchell, got another Evan Mobley. Was he really? Or she? Caitlyn Jenner, well, at the time Bruce Jenner, was drafted into the NBA by in the 70s. He was drafted by the NBA? I had no idea. I just thought, I just thought he was just a, a decathlete. Scotty Barnes rookie card for the Raptors. That'll be for Nicholas, Nick L., Another Evan Mobley. I like the love the luminance design here for Rob and the Cavs. Jason's asking who has a PS5 and is it really better than the PS4? Well, I have a PS4, Jason. You should just buy me a PS5 and I'll, I'll test it out for a little bit and let you know how it goes. Another Scotty Barnes and old Laker Malik Monk. 
83 out of 149. Played well enough to price himself out of the Lakers roster. Yeah, I I mean I knew he was I knew he was a great athlete. He but he only did track just because of injuries. It's kinda wild, I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, I got Ben Simmons traded cards here too. X Line says according to him, yes it is. Chris Jaspi also saying it is way better. couple of Ben Simmons cards going to Brooklyn. That'll be for Wayne. We've got a Trey Mann to 75. And Diego saying he's going to keep his PS4 until they start making games exclusively for PS5. Yeah, PS5 is backwards compatible, though. They should be able to play PS4 games. And before, which I don't think was always the case for... Like, my PS4 can't play, like, PS3, 2, or 1 games, right? Zion, Jonathan Kaminga, Jalen Suggs, Quentin Grimes, Kyrie. A lot, a lot of diversity, a lot of... Uh, a lot of different bits of eye candy in this. And now, let's see what this redemption's all about. Who could it be now? Do, 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 do. All right, it's an Apprentice Signatures Blue. Card number eight, D-U. Dun Duncan Duncan Robbins Duncan Robinson. And that's for the Miami Heat. That'll be for for Mr. Serrano. And there you go, boys and girls. That was the break. Brand new Chronicles. Second half in the store right now. A lot of fun stuff here. A lot of parallels, a lot of numbered cards. And a lot of good times, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. I'm Joe for the Gold Standard. Cade Cunningham looks cool. We got Gold Standard football in the store. Check that out. Check it all out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.